Hey Top Gun, on this weekend I decided to meet with my co-founder who came to my home city from Russia just before the borders were closed and now he's about to stay the entire quarantine in my city. While walking in the park with him I've had this idea of filming a video on how to become a data engineer. Alexander was unprepared so apologies for any lapses in the head. Hey and welcome to the channel and today is a special day because today we are talking with my co-founder, meet my co-founder Alexander who is a senior data architect and um, yes meet this awesome man and we will be talking about data engineering and you will learn it first hand. Hi Alexander. Hi. Alexander could you tell us a little bit more about data engineering like dive a little bit deeper into the topic so what it actually is about and uh, yes what typical tasks and what typical issues and problems does data engineering people solve? Data engineering is a very broad area. Uh, we face with um, uh, uh, tasks like uh, database architecture creation, uh, manage data, um, movement data between different systems, uh, identify, so work with master data, identify uh, new data, um, data mining, and data analysis. So all those areas are included to the data engineering. Uh, I prefer the term uh, data management because so uh, w when when I was in university, my scientific advisor um, suggested me to use uh, this term um, because you know all that we have is data. We can say that of course uh, someone can. Uh, invent or maybe uh, implement some new algorithm but without any data the algorithm is nothing okay thanks Alexander and uh, so my question would be so what uh, skills does a typical data engineer have so could you share with us like what skills what range of skills should a data engineer have thanks Olga uh, you know it depends on task what they're going to solve uh, for instance, if you are working with um, simple creation database and managed database, of course you should know uh, such language as uh, SQL. SQL is a basic language uh, for the data engineering. I prefer academic background in data engineering because uh, you should understand the, the whole area. Uh, you should understand a task definition clearly and um, uh, also you should understand how software engineer will interact with your system, uh, how to process this data, transform them and uh, uh, do something with uh, uh, those data. And uh, yeah, it is, it is very important. Data engineer should understand data domain and business models clearly because um, in this case uh, he or she could uh, implement architecture in the best way to satisfy business needs. What about skills? It depends on, on the task you are going to solve. For instance, uh, for some cases, uh, you may only know uh, SQL uh, language and uh, uh, how and what a relative database is. But uh, uh, in general, it takes um, so you you should know uh, much more than simple SQL. You should know how to build uh, graph databases or maybe uh, how to run clusters, uh, how you can run your task in uh, a distributed environment, how to build ETL process, that means extract, transform, load, uh, how to build uh, data warehouses. Uh, they, of course, has a different uh, uh, structure than the regular databases and transaction databases. Uh, and of course, uh, he or she should know how to uh, interact with uh, with this. Maybe some uh, uh, script languages like Python uh, or Scala. Uh, yeah, I'm talking uh, uh, Scala. It is not uh, a script language, but uh, sometimes we need to solve um, uh, some problem using some issues using uh, Scala or uh, Java uh, language. So it, it is. It really depends on the yeah, task. It, it really depends on the task. Yeah. Okay, thank you. That was pretty much insightful. Now, well, my next question for you would be, um, well, let's imagine that a regular software engineer, I don't know, let it, well, suppose it's a support engineer or QA engineer or any other software engineer, 
he or she decided to shift uh, their direction and to become a data engineer. So which steps or what steps uh, they should take in order to become, in order to shift their direction and become a data engineer? So, you know, uh, the first question is why? <laughs> yeah, um, the person should clearly understand why she or, or, she or he wants to move to, to the data engineering and what uh, he or she is going to do. Uh, because, as I said before, so it is a very broad area. Uh, for instance, uh, if you decided to be a data engineer with uh, Hadoop systems, with cluster systems, uh, you should understand how the cluster works, uh, what is the general approach, and uh, maybe uh, find uh, um, the most uh, popular um, stack and uh, trying to understand uh, which two um, usually used for, for this stack and trying to do something with, with this stack. Uh, we have very common knowledge like uh, SQL. Uh, it is a, a base ground. Uh, also, uh, I do believe that Hadoop engineer should understand what relative or transaction database means. Uh, also understand what does it mean uh, when we're talking about ETL, uh, how to build simple ETL process when we extract data, transform and load to, to some system and understand general IIT background. If uh, he or she define uh, the area of interest, in this case, uh, you can create some plan, what you should do to, to learn this area. And uh, right now you can find a lot of courses where you can uh, um, obtain this, uh, this knowledge I don't believe that you can become a good data engineer without practice. The practice is a very, very important uh, thing. You may know how to uh, build uh, databases. You may create uh, your own uh, test databases and learn some tasks. But without practice, you cannot um, solve real uh, business uh, tasks. OK, so the last question I will be having for you, because we are running out of time. So do you think that data engineering direction is a perspective direction? Do you think that, uh, well, a young specialist who wants to, um, to, to have a perspective profession, that they should actually take this direction? Do you think that it's worth it? And in the next decade, this profession will still be, uh, you know, in high demand? Yeah, it's a great question. When we are talking about data engineering, data engineering is a background how to prepare data, how to store the data, and uh, how to extract the data from the different, maybe, generous sources. And I do believe that uh, if we want to process the data, we uh, do need data engineers. I can say definitely, in the, in the next uh, 10 years, we do need uh, data engineering. We are working with data that can be stored in a different formats, in a different uh, uh, databases, in a different systems. And I do believe that we uh, uh, have to store them. Uh, in the next 10 years, we, we definitely uh, work with data and we need specialists who can understand how to operate the data, how to configure the system and how to move the data from one system to another system. Maybe we face with the, with the new data formats. For instance, we don't play it with uh, regular tables, but uh, we manipulate with a uh, uh, mass amount of videos or photos uh, or something like that. Like that. Data engineering is all, always faced with the new challenges, with a new task and uh, new areas. I definitely show that the data engineer will be in a high demand in the next decade. Thank you, Alexander, for uh, answering all the questions and thanks for coming to me to Odessa. And I'm so happy to see you in person again. So uh, thanks so much for being here and yes, yeah, for you. helping me thank with the channel. <laughs> I hope you liked this episode and I hope you enjoyed meeting my awesome co-founder, Alexander, uh, who is a top tech person in our company. Let me know if you enjoyed this video and if you would like to learn more about uh, all the uh, software engineering directions. I would be happy to provide you with more interviews on this channel. So let me know in the comments if you are enjoying this one. Give me a thumbs up and I will see you next Wednesday. Bye.